Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. 1970 was really the last gasp of the big budget studio war film. A bunch of different approaches were tried, from epics like Patton and Tora 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 to subversive comedies like MASH and Catch-22. Right now we're going to take a look at a movie that mixed everything up together, the very entertaining Kelly's Heroes. Kelly! What the hell are you doing here? Looking after the colonel, that's what. Shoot him and let's get the hell out of here! Shoot him, we don't get the gold. What gold? War movies in the Vietnam era are a strange bunch. And because the country was so divided, the movies tend to be a little schizophrenic. They're anti-war films that have lots of very cool violence. So I guess everyone's satisfied. Hell, even Patton was sold as the story of a rebel. The situation is so weird that after the negative reaction to John Wayne's The Green Berets, Hollywood doesn't actually set a movie in Vietnam until, I think, The Boys in Company C comes out in the late 70s. I mean, even hipster movies from this time period hedge their bets. Like M.A.S.H., a film that takes place in Korea even though the attitude is 100% 1970s hippie. One of the stars of M.A.S.H., Donald Sutherland, brings that flower child attitude to this film, Kelly's Heroes. He plays a character so strange he's actually called Oddball, clearly stoned all the time, yet he's the tank commander. Now, I don't really think of Sutherland as a war film guy, but he's made a lot of them. The Dirty Dozen, The Eagle Has Landed, but I guess truthfully, Kelly's Heroes is barely even a war film. It's actually a caper movie. They're out to steal some Nazi gold left in a bank. And I guess it's, it's really a comedy. I mean, just look at that cast. Don Rickles, Carol O'Connor, Telly Savalas, Gavin McLeod, Stuart Margolin, I'm, I'm laughing already. But the main man here is Clint Eastwood. It's in that post Leone, pre-Dirty Harry time period where he's still finding his legs as a huge movie star. He's terrific. The film is helmed by Brian Hutton, who had just directed Eastwood in Where Eagles Dare. Hutton was an actor who transitioned to directing with the very cool Wild Seed, a movie with Michael Parks in the mid-60s. Unfortunately, he winds up in the 70s servicing older movie stars. He makes pictures with Liz Taylor and Frank Sinatra long after anyone cared. But this movie is really well directed, with a firm hand dealing with that crazy cast and tone. It's extremely entertaining, and it features a great AM radio hit, Burning Bridges by Mike Curb. Those freaks! That ain't an army, it's a circus! It could be the perfect crime. Woof, 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 woof. 